Hello, this is Livia Water Crisis TED Talk. Today, we will be discussing the water shortage and cleanliness issue in Libya. Libya is a country located in Northern Africa, standing right next to the Mediterranean Sea. We are here to talk about Libya itself and our solution towards Libya's water crisis. Let's take a look at what plants Libya grows on a yearly basis every single year. Libya does not have a lot of water, and because of this, it is very challenging to keep their animals and their crops thriving. They need these plants for a source of food so that the people in Libya do not starve and are able to maintain their health and wellness. The two main crops in Libya are wheat and barley, crops that are part of many agricultures. These foods are needed for both humans and animals. These foods are often used in many chicken and cow feeds. The animals need to be able to thrive because they are a good source of meat and protein, and the people in Libya need it. There are also many animals that cultivate near the Mediterranean Sea in Libya. This includes multiple species of rodents, many foxes, rabbits, skunks, and several types of reptiles. Libya has a very dry and arid climate with many deserts and few trees. There are many animals and plants in Libya, such as grasses like dwarf eelgrass and esparto grass, with many flowers that consist of primrose and softly orchids are native to areas surrounding the Mediterranean Sea. To give water to each of these things is very difficult. When there is a scarce amount of water to feed the people, animals and plants. Human health is also very important. If we don't get the amount of water we need, or if we drink contaminated water, we could die. Some of the contaminants in Libya's water that make many people sick each year include chloria, dynasty, mumps, and hepatitis. These diseases are very harmful to animals and humans alike. Our goal is to stop these viruses from getting into the water so they won't have to deal with these awful diseases. Although Libya does not have many water sources, they do have an aquifer system. This and also a man-made river pipe that allows houses to get water. But this won't last them the rest of their lives and many houses still don't get water from these sources. Some other water sources that Libya has are swamps and rainfall. However, their rainfall is very little. The cost for our solution costs about $1,969 in US dollars or $2,734 in Libyan dinar. Lucky for us, this is not too much money to be paid. This will be easily affordable with the Libyan government making over $64.4 billion each year. The needed resources and materials that we have to have in order to create our solution would include big rocks, small rocks, sand, and cloth. This version is going to be our tiny portable version that you can take on the go. The big rocks filter out leaves, sticks, grass, and any other large things that are put in the water. The small rocks filter out smaller bugs, twigs, and anything that happens to slip through the big rocks. The sand filters out small particles and bacteria inside of the water that can be harmful to humans. The cloth helps hold everything in the two-liter bottle and stops anything else that comes through the filtration. Here is our dirty water that resembles Libya's water. We will put it through our filtration system with layers consisting of cloth, sand, small rocks, and big rocks. We're going to pour it in to show you guys what the difference is going to be for the before and for the after. Since our filtration system does take quite a bit of time to filter through each of the layers, we have we have um, a sample of it, and we're going to show you what this looks like and compare it to this to show you guys that this is the water that we have bought.
As you they can see, this, place to work this is our it, water after it's rainfall, been through our really filtration system. These look very oh, much the same. Thanks for watching! Bye! Bye. in your blooper video guys. Bye.